Designing a website in only 10 minutes isn't easy, but it's a really cool challenge I saw on DevEd's channel, so I thought we'll give it a go. I personally like coffee, so I think I'm gonna design something in 10 minutes in Figma about coffee, maybe a coffee company or something like that. Anyway, if you don't know who I am, I'm Adrian from Australia. I do videos around design and development, so without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. Alright, so we have a blank canvas here on Figma and we'll get started with a stopwatch which will be at the top right over there and you can follow along. Let's click start and great. So the very first thing I'm going to do is create a frame and this will be a simple desktop size. So there we have it. And next we'll jump into maybe Unsplash. And in here we can grab lots of different things. But what I want to do is grab some images for coffee. So I'm just going to grab whatever is first here. So we've got this nice big coffee cup. We also have maybe oh, these coffee beans here as well. So let's grab these two images. We'll put these straight into our design over here. So I'm just going to drag and drop them. I'm going to zoom out, hold shift and resize them real quick. This will get them into our design so we can start using them straight away. Once they're done, we're going to have a look at what else we can do. We might jump into Font Awesome. And on there, we've got lots of little icons. So in this case, I want to grab an icon for coffee. So I'm just going to type that in and probably just grab the very first one that I see. So I've got this one here for a coffee cup. Let's grab that one and put that into our design. We'll just quickly download it and drag it straight in. So let's do that. That's downloading here in the background, I think. There we go. I'm just dragging it straight in here. So what I want is I want this coffee cup to possibly pull in some of the colors here from our design. So I'm just going to grab maybe one of the coffee cup colors here and then we'll give it a quick title, maybe something like coffee to go. And let's add an exclamation mark in there. We'll grab that primary color and let's put it in here. We'll resize it a little bit, maybe make it a little bit smaller and maybe we'll center it just here in the middle of our design. Uh, we might give this a nice call to action, something like uh, uh, grab a coffee to take away today. And this can be a little bit smaller, maybe something like 24 pixels. We'll put it straight under our logo here and we'll give it a slighter, slightly smaller tint, maybe this gray color here. Now I've got these two images. I'm thinking that what we might do is use this one here because it's nice and white as a call to action. We could resize it, maybe something like this. Um, maybe we can actually, hmm, what can we do with this? Let's, let's have a look and play around with some of the ways we can position this. So here, I actually like this because it, it comes out a little bit. We can pull here to the right, maybe resize it a little bit smaller. And maybe we'll do this at exactly 50%. And then what we can do is a nice call to action here on the left, maybe uh, order a take away. And then let's put this with a nice primary color here. Maybe uh, let's do a softer shade of that coffee color. We'll grab one here from our design colors. This one should be okay. We'll give this a nice large font size, maybe a little bit smaller here to about 48 pixels. Uh, maybe a little bit more actually, 64, yep. And we'll give this a lighter weight, maybe something like regular. Then we'll do a nice call to action here. So what I'm thinking is maybe a nice button here saying something like order now. So let's put that in, order now. We'll give this a white color and we'll put this behind our button here so it stands out. So here it is and we'll make this button also that primary color. So that way that call to action is standing out quite well there. And for order or takeaway, maybe we'll copy over this text, make a subtext here. Uh, we deliver right to your doorstep. That looks cool. Um, maybe we'll give this a slightly lighter tint again, and we'll put this here to align next to all our button and content. So that way, essentially what we have is some nice call to actions here with a nice title. So that's looking good. Um, we might also want to have some navigation and a footer, maybe even a little section there for a newsletter sign up. So I might do the newsletter sign up next. Let's do a box here. And what we'll do is we'll overlay this with maybe another box. That way we've got two nice boxes here and in here can be the section where we ask people to sign up to our newsletter. 
can do this a couple of different ways, but I'm thinking maybe we could even expand out these coffee beans here. And this section here can essentially exist inside as a box or maybe even a white box. Hmm. It's not looking too good. Um, I'll have to play around with this, but I'm thinking that if we have a section here, hmm, that looks like it flows in very nicely actually, but not sure how we can use that yet. Uh, maybe we might put this on the left and then on the right here, we'll have this box for our sign up to the newsletter. And this one here, maybe it can have a darker tint to it. And what I'll do is I'll copy over this section here. I'll make it a white color and grab the layer and put it above and put in sign up uh, newsletter, sign up. Great, let's put that in here. And then we'll do another call to action here. So we'll copy over this button, put the element above. In this case, instead of order now, it says uh, your email. And in here, people can sign up to the, the newsletter, which would be cool. Uh, let's change the fonts and colors for this. So here we'll do a slightly lighter shade. And we'll also need a little button here just to make sure that people know this is clickable. So let's copy this over across. And for the button call to action, maybe we'll do something which has a different tone. Uh, what tones do we have? That should be okay. Five minutes to go. Uh, submit. Great. And we'll probably want some more information for this newsletter section. And this title looks a little bit too big. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to copy over some of this text to explain what you get for the newsletter there. Maybe I'll make this at 20 pixels. Um, latest offers and specials. That way people have a reason to go to this newsletter sign up. So that's looking good so far. We probably also, ooh, I've lost the... But the lost the section there. All right, let's copy that over once more, put it up above and get the latest offers and specials. And I've spelled coffee wrong there. So let's fix that up. All right, great. And finally, we probably just need a menu now. So let's move all of these sections a little bit down below. And we might expand out this whole design a little bit bigger. So I'm going to make this frame a little bit larger. And then let's quickly add a menu. So what I'm thinking for the menu is we could create a whole section here for the menu. And this could have that light shade that we created earlier, or it can have maybe even a dark shade. Let's try a dark shade, for example. So both of those look okay. Um, I'm thinking maybe we could put it even above and move all the elements down. Let's see how that looks. Three minutes to go. No, I don't really like that. Mm. I'm thinking probably that light shade looked the best um, or a dark shade to see what fits in. So now that we've got that, we'll probably do something like home and we'll make this a white color. We'll move this into our design over here and maybe we'll start it here on the left. We'll make the font size a little bit bigger, maybe 26 pixels. And let's copy over a couple of these and we'll make a couple of buttons here. So maybe a menu in here and then about us and contact us. Great. Two minutes to go. We're almost there. We'll give the other ones here, which aren't in view, a regular size. And we'll also change the color here to be maybe slightly lighter. So that way we know that the home is the current page we're on and the other ones are secondary colors. So that's looking okay. We've lost the button there for our call to action. Let's quickly put that back in. Uh, I can't remember what that was. I think it was order now. Okay, that's back in there. Um, and I think we're almost done. Uh, let's quickly add maybe a phone number here. Uh, 1-300-000-200. And this can be the phone number people call when they're trying to get to an order. Maybe we'll put it here at the top right. We'll give it a nice large size and a nice bold cover color. Uh, one minute to go. Come on, we can do this. And let's do a quick copy for that. And maybe something like call us now. Uh, make this a little bit smaller. And this looks good. Let's change the tint on this so it's all consistent with how we're doing other stuff. Great. So there we go. Um, we're almost done. I think we could probably just clean up some of the spacing on each one of these elements. So we just make sure that it's all centered. And uh, let's move this a little bit more in the center there. Great. And I think we're done. 
there we go. There is our design in 10 minutes or less. It's an example of what it's like building something out really quickly. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's uh, really challenging to do, but uh, really fun. So I might do more of these in the future. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit like, hit subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.